Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. Golden Bachelorette Joan Vassos wants a man to do these two chores. Golden Bachelorette Joan Vassos has some requirements when it comes to who she wants in her life. There are a few chores that Joan despises doing, so she really wants to find a man who will do these things for her. What does Joan really want a man in her life to do? Keep reading to get the scoop. Golden Bachelorette Joan Vassos wants a man to do these chores. Golden Bachelorette Joan Vassos wants a man to do a few things for her if they are in a relationship. There are two things in particular that she hates doing herself, so she's hoping the new man in her life can step up and take the burden off of her plate. Page 6 shared details about what Joan said in a recent interview. She revealed that her own father was the ultimate gentleman. She said, He never let my mom carry the heavy groceries in. He always hopped up when somebody walked in the room. He always opened doors. Joan has already shared that she is not looking for the same kind of man she found in her deceased husband. She wanted to find something different, so this time around she is looking for a man who is outgoing Curtis and would enjoy going to the beach with her family. She also wants him to be willing to go grocery shopping and also to do the yard work. Joan doesn't have a lot of deal breakers but there is one. She will not be with someone who will be rude to wait staff at restaurants. She was a waitress in college and stands firmly on that belief that they should be treated well. While she admits she would compromise on moving somewhere, she says it has to be somewhat close to her family. She refuses to leave them and move far away. Golden Bachelorette Joan Vassos will begin her journey tonight to see if she can find love again. Will she be able to find someone that checks all the boxes including doing the grocery shopping and yard work? Fans will have to tune in as she meets many incredible men who are all looking for a second shot at love. They all have experience and bring a lot to the table. Don't miss the season premiere on ABC on Wednesday night to see all the lucky men getting to date Joan. Joan Vassos, the radiant, charismatic star of The Golden Bachelorette, has captured the hearts of audiences across the nation. At 60 years old, Joan is not just a symbol of elegance, grace, and confidence, She's also a woman who knows exactly what she wants in life and love, and for her, a potential partner must be willing to do two essential things, handle the trash and take charge of the garden. It's not just about checking off boxes on a chore list for Joan, there's a deeper meaning behind her seemingly simple requests. For her, the man she chooses to be with must not only appreciate the little things in life, but also understand that tending to the dirty work reflects a sense of responsibility, care, and dedication. Joan's journey to finding love on the Golden Bachelorette has been filled with its fair share of charming moments and heartfelt connections, but the essence of what she's looking for in a life partner has always remained crystal clear. She doesn't need grand gestures or expensive gifts. She's lived long enough to realize that true love is found in the everyday, where real partnerships thrive. And for Joan, two key components of that are as practical as taking out the trash and caring for the garden. A story behind the trash now, why does Joan place such importance on something as mundane as taking out the trash? For her, it's symbolic of a relationship that's balanced and considerate. Joan grew up in a household where her father, a humble yet dependable man, always made sure to handle the trash. It was a quiet, unspoken routine in their household, but one that symbolized reliability. Even in his old age, her father took pride in keeping their home tidy, no matter how small the task seemed, Joan came to associate the act of taking out the trash with a sense of partnership. A man who can handle the messy parts of life, literally and metaphorically, is a man worth keeping. Joan explains, it's not just about the trash, it's about being willing to do the things that aren't always fun. Relationships aren't always glamorous, but a man who steps up to handle the less appealing tasks shows me that he's committed and willing to do the work and that's important to me. While it may sound like a small request, Joan insists it's a matter of respect. Taking out the trash may seem insignificant, but it's an everyday task. It tells me a man is grounded, attentive, and won't let the little things pile up. A garden of love. If handling the trash symbolizes responsibility, tending to the garden for Joan represents growth and nurturing. There's something inherently special about a man who's willing to get his hands dirty to create beauty in the world. Joan's love for gardening began during a summer spent with her grandmother, a woman who, despite her old age, cultivated the most stunning flower garden, 
Joan remembers waking up at dawn to help prune the roses, water the hydrangeas, and plant new seeds. That summer taught her the value of patience, care, and the joy that comes from watching something grow from methane. For me, a garden is a metaphor for life and relationships, Joan says with a knowing smile. It takes effort, attention, and a willingness to put in the work, but the rewards are so worth it. When a man can commit to nurturing a garden, I know he understands the give and take of a healthy relationship. But beyond the metaphor, Joan genuinely loves the outdoors. She spends her weekends tending to her own garden, an oasis of colorful blooms, fragrant herbs, and a few fruit trees. For her, the garden is a place of peace, reflection, and joy. And she wants a partner who shares in that joy, who can appreciate the quiet beauty of a well-tended space and contribute to it. A man who can spend time with me in the garden, pulling weeds, planting flowers, or even just admiring what we've created together, shows me that he's not afraid of investing in something bigger than himself. It's not just about maintaining the garden, it's about growing something beautiful together, Joan explains. More than just chores, for Joan, the trash and the garden may seem like practical requests, but they're rooted in deeper values that she holds dear. A man who can take out the trash and tend to the garden is someone who's willing to be present, grounded, and committed to building a life together. These are the kinds of things that tell me who a man really is, Joan says. It's easy to put on a good face for a date or sweep me off my feet with a grand gesture, but at the end of the day I want someone who's there for the everyday moments, the small, unglamorous tasks that make a home feel like home. She's clear in what she wants, no room for pretense, no patience for anyone who isn't willing to do the work. Joan doesn't need a man to take care of her, but she does want a partner who shares the load and understands the value of everyday contributions. As her journey on the Golden Bachelorette continues, the question remains, will one of the dashing suitors step up to the plate? Will one of them understand the significance of these two simple chores and the values behind them? Joan has her eyes open and her heart ready. The man who wins her heart won't be the one who promises the moon and stars, but the one who's willing to roll up his sleeves and dig into the dirt, both literally and figuratively. Because for Joan Vassos, love isn't about grand gestures. It's about showing up every day, taking out the trash, and making the garden bloom. And when a man is willing to do both, he's a man she's ready to build a future with. Joan Vassos sat at her kitchen table, the morning sun pouring through the windows, casting a warm, golden hue on everything in sight. At 68, she was as vibrant as the day she turned 40, her spirit undimmed by time, her laugh contagious, and her energy boundless. It wasn't long ago that Joan found herself on The Golden Bachelorette, a show designed for people who'd lived through their fair share of life's trials and triumphs, and were now seeking a partner to share its quieter, golden years. The show was a hit, especially because of Joan, she was magnetic, a beauty, yes, but more than that. She had a spark, a charm that couldn't be manufactured. Her suitors, all dashing in their silver-haired glory, were smitten from the first rose ceremony. Joan, however, wasn't easily swayed by candlelit dinners or sweeping romantic gestures. She had two criteria, two seemingly simple chores that would ultimately determine her pick. These weren't just tasks, they were metaphors for the life Joan envisioned sharing with someone.